In this video, we will solve equations with radicals, where we must first isolate the radical. It is important to remember, before we can clear any radical, it must first be isolated or alone. So, for example, should we have this problem, we would first need to get the square root part alone by getting rid of the 4 and 2. We cannot add them together, as they are not like terms. The 2 has a square root, the 4 does not. So we will subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. This gives us 2 times the square root of 2x minus 1 equals 2x minus 4. Now we can get rid of the 2 by dividing both sides by 2. Remember, with division, we must divide every term by 2, giving us the square root of 2x minus 1 equals x minus 2. Now, we have the square root completely alone, and we can get rid of it by doing the inverse, or an exponent on both sides. The opposite of a second root is a second power, leaving just 2x minus 1 equals... When we square the binomial, we get x squared. Negative 2x and negative 2x is negative 4x, and then negative 2 squared is positive 4. Again, when we have an x squared, we need to make it equal to 0 and factor the equation. As x squared is always positive, we subtract 2x and add 1 to both sides. To get our final equation, 0 equals x squared minus 6x plus 5. Next, we will want to factor this equation. This one factors quite nicely to x minus 1 and x minus 5. Again, we can set each factor equal to 0 to find our values for x x minus 1 equals 0, and x minus 5 equals 0. By adding 1, we find out our first option for x is 1, and adding 5 tells us our first option, our second option for x is 5. However, before we say those are our final answer, we must check them in the original problem. Let's check them over here on the side, first checking that x equals 1. We have 4 plus 2 times the square root of 2x, or 1, minus 1, equals 2 times x, or 2 times 1. On the left side, by multiplying inside the radical first, we get 4 plus 2 times the square root of 2 minus 1, equals 2 times 1, or 2. 2 minus 1 is 1, and so we have 4 plus 2 times the square root of 1 equals 2. The square root of 2 is 1, and then we can multiply, giving us 4 plus 2. Whoops, these should be 2's. 4 plus 2 equals 2, but 4 plus 2 equals 6. You notice that 6 is not equal to 2. This means the answer of x equals 1 is extraneous and must be thrown out. We still must check the x equals 5. 4 plus 2 times the square root of 2x, or 2 times 5 minus 1, equals 2 times 5. Multiplying first, we get 4 plus 2 times the square root of 10 minus 1 equals 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. So we have 4 plus 2 times the square root of 9 equals 10. The square root of 9 is 3. Hopefully, this will equal 10. 2 times 3 is 6, and sure enough, 4 plus 6 is 10. Because it checks out and gives us a true equation, this means the x equals 5 does work in the original equation. As this problem has shown, to solve with a radical, we first isolate the radical, use an even exponent to clear, and check our answer. In part 2, we'll see another example.